If you were looking for a review video for the Brother MFC J 1170 DW, then stay tuned because today that's what we're gonna be doing. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. And today we're going to be unboxing the Brother MFC J 1170 DW. Now this is one of the few brother printers I've had on my channel in the past year So I'm really excited to unbox it take a look at what it has to offer What comes in the box and then I'll give you my review my take on what are the pros and cons of owning this printer? Now this isn't gonna be the only video on this printer What I usually do is I break up into two or three other videos how to install the ink the print quality test, that is where we actually test printing off some photos, printing off some documents. We look at the speed, we look at the, all the different specs as far as printing. And then we also will do a repair video showing you how to basically fix this printer if for some reason the print head is not printing properly. So you can find these videos linked down in the description below. Also, I'm gonna be talking about various different products along the way in this video. Any product that I end up talking about, there will be a link for it down in the description below, including a link for this printer. If you uh, watch this review video and you would like to make a purchase, uh, you can actually go down to the description box and click the link for the Brother MFC J uh, 1170DW. Now, speaking of product links, the sponsor of today's video is my very own product, the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. Essentially, if you're printing blank pages, not able to print a certain color, or you have an overall and general print quality issue, you're gonna wanna consider buying this product. What it does is, it is a DIY kit that allows you to essentially break up any blockage in the print head, uh, and essentially fix that problem that you're currently having with printing blank pages or if you're not able to print a certain color. This product is gonna help you solve that problem efficiently and at a low price. Now I am gonna be shooting a video showing you how to use this product on the Brother MFCJ 1170DW. But if you currently have a printer that's having this issue and maybe that's why you're on the market for a new printer, you may wanna consider going down. There's gonna be a link down in the description below. You can go down there, click the link, get yours today, and then come back and watch the rest of this video. There's also gonna be other instructional videos on my channel page. If you have another printer model aside from this printer and you wanna search up an instructional video, you can go to my channel page, you can go to videos and then type in your specific printer model in the search bar. And what you'll find is a variety of different videos similar to or exactly matching your specific printer model. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Everything prints related is what you're gonna find on this channel if this video ends up being helpful please make sure to like any questions at all comment below and if you want more content like this please make sure to subscribe all right so why don't we get started with this unboxing all right so why don't we open up this box what you're going to be getting inside is of course the printer itself but you're also going to be getting some ink cartridges you're going to be getting a user manual and just some other promotional materials now again there are going to be other videos uh, down in the description box of a print quality test that's going to show you how this printer actually is able to print an ink installation video and then there's also going to be a repair video just in case you're having issues printing with this printer in the future you also are going to get a uh, i would call this like a landline connection where you could connect directly to you know your wall outlet and you'll have access that's usually you would use that for fax and so this uh, printer, of course, does do fax, copying, scanning, and then regular printing. And so the ink that you're going to get in the box, to me, usually that runs out pretty quick, especially with the setup. So just keep in mind, you may need to buy some new ink uh, pretty soon after actually purchasing this printer and getting uh, everything out of the box. So the first thing we want to do is we want to load up some paper uh, because uh, that's what it's asking us to do. And then you're also going to want to install the ink right after you install the paper. So I'm going to do a really quick general overview of how to install the ink in this video. If you've never installed ink on a Brother printer before, you're going to want to watch the actual ink installation video. Now the size of paper I'm using is 8.5 by 11. That's pretty standard size, but that's not the only size that this printer is able to handle. You can actually go down to 4 by 6 photo paper. It can do 5x7, five 5x8, by uh, five by and it can hold up to 150 sheets of paper, 20 pounds of plain paper. The output, the max you can actually 
print out before having to actually remove those sheets is 50 sheets of paper. So now I'm going to be installing the ink. It's pretty simple. You unwrap them, make sure the microchip is facing up, and then you're going to click it in place. If you don't feel a click, uh, then it's not fully installed and it's going to ask you to install it correctly. Now I'm setting up the date and there's other information I need to set up uh, before we can actually start printing. I've already loaded some plain paper, so I'm going to click OK. And it's actually going to print out this uh, nozzle check. Uh, this nozzle check basically ensures that the print head is working correctly. And if there are no missing dots, then you're good to move forward. Uh, once you're moving forward, now we're going to want to connect with the uh, Brother app. You're going to want to download the app, whether you have an iPhone or an Android. And once you have the app, you're going to want to connect the printer uh, to the app. Once the printer is connected to the app, you're going to be able to connect with the Wi-Fi. You're going to be able to print from your mobile device. It's very important that you download this app. There's going to be a lot of information there, and I wouldn't recommend not downloading the app if you have that option with your phone. So we're going to open this up. We're going to hit OK, and now we're going to hit uh, Do Not Allow. We're going to hit OK again, and then I'm going to kind of go back and forth here uh, with the different methods of connecting to Wi-Fi. I apologize in advance if it's kind of all over the place with the different methods I'm using in the video. Uh, but with this Brother printer, it was a little bit different than what I'm normally used to. There was one point where I had to connect uh, to the printer's Wi-Fi. Then I was able to connect uh, the printer to my actual Wi-Fi. So you're going to have to play around with it a little bit. I would use the instructions a little bit more than this video. Uh, again, I apologize. This is going to be more of a, a video on just general setup and uh, general functionality of the printer. Uh, but in the app, there is a very good Wi-Fi setup process. Uh, it'll take you through the different things that you can do to connect to Wi-Fi. And so that's what I would rely on is the actual connection to Wi-Fi through the app. It's going to ask you for a lot of different promotional stuff before you're actually able to use the app after you've connected to Wi-Fi. And you can select whatever you'd like. And um, once you get to the home page of the app, now you have access to do pretty much everything that you're able to do on the printer. You're able to print documents. You're also able to print photos. You're able to scan, copy. Uh, you have an automatic document feeder on the top of the printer, uh, which you can feed through and you can scan basically double sided uh, documents, um, you know, in all in one go about 10 sheets at a time. And so that's going to be really helpful if you're doing a lot of scanning with multiple documents. You have your regular scanner to scan just one sheet at a time. Uh, and now you have also access to the inside of the printer. This is very, very important when it comes to maintenance and repair in the future. All right, so from my perspective, this is a very standard printer. Your resolution is 1200 by 6000 DPI. That's with Windows only. And so do you get all the bells and whistles from the, the, the standpoint of a brother printer? Yes, you do. You've got an automatic document feeder. You've got a a touch screen. You've got some pretty standard functionality, but it is an overall very sturdy, very uh, usable printer. And I think anyone could really purchase this printer and get a lot of good use out of it. Uh, so I really hope this video was helpful. Please make sure to like any questions at all. Comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's really all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time.